It's me, Zenobia Darling. You're listening to Hashtag Rockstar Life, the Coffee Break Podcast. Let's go. Where the hell's my cold brew at? All right, and we're live. What's up? Hey, what's hey. going on? I beam down. I'm in Havity Grace with my friend Jenny. What's up? Someone we have a shared like friend circle. Yes. So how the are cool you today? Circle, the yes. Cool people. <laughs> so it's a chill Monday in yes. November. Yeah. This will probably be out in December, but how are you doing yeah, today? I'm doing good. I just did a couple massages, and now I'm just chilling with you. Yeah. Do you like do massages here, or like at like do you have your own like studio for it? Or yeah, right across the street. Oh, that's yeah. an easy commute, too. Yeah, just walked on over. Mm. And we have your one of your cats. Mervin. 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 Oh, Love it. Yep, Mervin. Oh, he see? can't. Oh, look at him. <laughs> I love that he's on your yoga mat, too. Yes. Oh, yes. that's like the best. He loves yoga. Yeah. So <laughs> how did we meet? Because we have a definitely like shared friend circle. Mm-hmm. We're definitely in like the counterculture of Have Degrees, like yes. the new up and coming art scene. Yes, the new up and coming art scene mm-hmm. with Young artists, yes, which that's what they young wanted. gay artists, young, young black gay. artists, yes, yes, diversity, yes. all kinds of people, yeah, showing. Now, do you paint at all, or yes, okay. I paint and draw because I know you do poetry. That's poetry. we're gonna get into it because, like, <laughs> I, I loved it, yes, yes, so. but yes, I do paint, but I haven't done that in a long time. Mm-hmm. I'm having artists, you're gonna come to my paint nights, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, yeah. what is like your style when you paint? Um, it's Crazy, wild, intuitive. I yeah. love it. Yeah. Do you like bright, vivid colors? Yes. I okay. use vivid colors and a lot of swirls, and I just kind of do it to the music. Oh, um, excellent. So yeah. you do more, so it's more abstract, but kind of, and also, I mean, I know you're from Vegas. Yes. We'll get into that yeah, also, because yeah. we have like, <laughs> we lived in the same Vegas, like at different times. That would mm-hmm. be kind of crazy if we ran into each other then. I know, know it. I know. Sometimes I think I'm like, like, did I see him dancing? You might have, stage? you um, might have, you know, <laughs> so I had, oh God, those dope days were handcuffed somewhere. I probably, mean, I <laughs> probably. So did you ever get into like the graffiti scene in Vegas or? No, I didn't. Okay. But you, did you ever like, because I've been to some of the, the underground tunnels to see some of that graffiti. That's no, like see, the best shit. I will but that's, go under there. <laughs> you no, know, it was, it was, scary. I will say yeah. that was like, like I can handle some like really like urban, like mm-hmm. depravity, but that was a whole new level. Like <laughs> I was, and then yeah. like I had a tour guide and like he was legit and like, you know, I know how to, you know, like I live in Africa. I'm from Baltimore. Like, okay. I know yeah. how to deal with you like deal the with. sketchier side of things yes. and like the scarier side. And even I was like, there was like a fight happening. Like we were talking to some homeless guy and some other guy like came up and was like trying to fight him about something. Oh. And I'm just like, this is ridiculous. Yeah. Every man for himself down yeah. there. Mm-mm. And then like, they all say like when it rains, it floods so quickly. Yeah, and I'm like, do why people would you? die? Yes. Oh, yeah. They have so many deaths. They have to. They're probably still got bodies in there. Oh, it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. And, like, all the people that live down there that are, like, just want to be nothing in society. I kind of envy them in a way. Yeah, in in a way. They they can just do whatever they want. Yeah. I mean, it's lawless, it seems. That's very true. (laughs) And just, like, do graffiti on the wall. Like, they never see the sunlight. Yeah. You know, shoot up, you know, Oh, yeah, that's, oh, yeah. That's Mm -hmm. that's definitely there. Yep. Hi, Murray. So, did you ever, um... Did you go ever any like art shows in like the arts district there or anything? Yes, yes, I used to do the art district, and I think it was first Friday. Yes, yes, yes. I think they did the or Saturdays or one of those. Yeah. Yes, I did do that, and my friend at the time from New York, she would come out, and she was an art model. So she would go to like this, I forgot, it was like a factory looking. Oh, I know. Place. Okay, I know exactly yeah. what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Do and they have like? That. I don't know if they had it back then, but they have like a flower, like a like a pink flower mural mural on the front mm-hmm. of it. Yeah, I think, think I know so. exactly. Yeah, because yeah. that was where I mean I can't say where I used to work mm-hmm. on mic. I'll tell you off mic, but <laughs> like I used to work in that area too. Oh, so okay, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Because I, really I was in it was more downtown, but it was like it was three blocks away from the arts district. So because yeah. all their merch, they're like, oh, it's downtown Vegas, and I'm like. It's not. not downtown <laughs> Vegas. But like no. the arts district, I remember when I moved there, I had a friend. I was kind of 
like one of my like we're not friends anymore, but he because he's a nut job. But I kind of texted him. I was like, "What do you think of the arts district? Like, I really like it. Like, because he lived out in Summerlin, and of course, Summerlin is like bougie ridiculousness." Yeah. And I was like, I like the Arts District. He was like, well, you're from Baltimore. You'll be fine. <laughs> and I was like, what the hell does that mean? Like, are you yeah, kidding me? Yeah, people like, don't go there alone. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, I'm fine. Yeah. And then he was like, well, one of my friends said that, like, if you're from the East Coast, you're fine. But, like, I don't venture there. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, no one's gonna steal your like, you know, Toyota like yeah, Corolla. Nobody's like, worried about you. Yeah, I'm like, go away, you. <laughs> They're worried about. They ain't worried about you out there. Yeah. But now it's very posh. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Just I, was I like, mean, what even, is this when I like, went even back? Even when I was there in, in June, I was like, oh, this is a little bit more mm-hmm. like gentrified than yeah. I remember. Yeah. And like. There's not as much like homeless riffraff there. There's not there. a lot of homeless there. There's oh. condos and yeah. posh restaurants. Yeah. <laughs> and like vegan bakeries, <laughs> vegan, which I'm yeah. like, oh man. <laughs> you both said it to say, yeah. yeah, I'm like, what's this? They got vegan stuff. What? I'm like, well, this is not Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> like, so, like, are... so you're born and raised in Vegas or? No, I'm born and raised here. Oh, yeah. so you're, okay. Yes, and um, my family and I, we moved out there when I was 21. Okay. Which is a great age. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Had a good time. Because <laughs> we would always go out there to, like, you know, see Britney. Like, I've seen Britney Spears perform, mm-hmm. like, forever. Just be, like, messy, trashy gays in the yes. strip. But, yeah. like, once... Once I got out of my 20s and actually started, like, performing, then I was, like, I'm avoiding the strip like the plague. Like, I go there, walk the strip for stand-up comedy sets, and yeah. then I'm, like, I'm done. That's it. Because it's, I like... I so frustrated. Do you have, like, a good, like, strip story? Like, of just, like, <laughs> some of the, the messiness? Oh, my gosh. I remember something happened. I'm trying to piece things together. Yeah. Something happened at Mandalay Bay oh God. where oh God. <laughs> I was at Jet, I think. I think the club was called Jet. And I got into a f- altercation fight thing and I got dragged out. Of course. But it wasn't the actual strip. It's like they take you somewhere. <laughs> oh, they put they put you like out back on like Flamingo Drive or whatever somewhere, it's called. Yeah. And you're like, where the hell? Oh my gosh! And then that's it, and you're like, oh. Well, I remember like always seeing like the palms on like Girls Next Door and all the reality television, mm-hmm. and I'm like, let's go there. And then I'm like, this is off strip, and I'm like, this is it's not like, in a like yeah. a good area. I not was like, all. this is not like <laughs> when I saw the palms. Yeah, I was, I was like, like, okay. Oh. I was like, this is interesting. God. Yeah. And then like the whole South Strip is so different even from like two years ago mm-hmm. like it's been because that was always like you know like I mean I've written half my book in the Tropicana just because of Hilton and like it's cheap because mm-hmm. Vegas is a good place to write at because you can kind of like lock yourself in a hotel room you yeah. got like cheap food cheap booze like yeah. and people watching yeah just the best people but, I mean they're characters in themselves oh, man. you know but Let's yeah see. I mean I just had a lot of drunk times on this strip yeah I That's think we all pretty have. much. Yeah. yeah. It's like I when you asked me, I'm like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I mean, I had those typical nights, you know, where it's like, wow, what happened to the time? Mm-hmm. You hop in the limo because you met somebody. Then you're at the VIP table here. And mm-hmm. then you're here. Hotel room party. Oh, sweet yeah. Party strip club. You know. And I do love the strip clubs there. They are and really like, nice. I they love, are nice. I love yeah. pole dancing. Yeah. And like, I love art. stripping and mm-hmm. like, oh man. Cause you I know, thought I was. Yeah, I literally <laughs> did. Cause I was like, cause I know you, you kind of have that dancer body and yeah. like, I know you do yoga and stuff. And I was like, I wonder mm. if she was, I was like, I would love it. Cause I'm trying to find like a strip, like a strip studio here to actually yeah. like do it. Like not perform anymore. Right. But like I got to keep my skills sharp. Yes, yes. And, like, plus, I think it's just fun to do. Like, I'd much rather, like, I don't want to go to the damn gym. I want to go to a strip club and pole dance. Just pole dance and make money. (laughs) Yeah. Because, like, one of my favorite movies is Showgirls. Yeah. With Elizabeth. I think we've talked about this before. But, like, ugh. I mean, they definitely showed it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, and that's, like. And the shit that goes on. That's, like, the real Vegas. Yeah. So, and I keep, I want them to do a reality show, like, Van, like, I had you watch Vanderpump Rules. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. But I want them to do Vanderpump Rules in Las Vegas, because Lisa Vanderpump, the owner of all of them, has two restaurants there. Okay. And they keep trying, but none of, 
like they can't go out because no one will clear for them to film. Oh. Which I'm like, that's so Vegas. Yeah. I'm like, of course, they're mm-hmm. like no cameras. No, no. So yeah, I can take care to guess. Because yeah. that's the thing about Vegas, people don't realize is the dark undercurrent mm-hmm. that's there. It's one of the darkest places. It like, is one of the darkest yeah. places. If like, you can survive. Yeah. I barely did. Yeah. yeah. So like, do you want to talk about that? Like, because I know that you are in recovery. So. Yeah, yeah. Because I know I am. Because yeah. I will just say full disclosure: I'm 12 years in recovery from eating disorder. Yeah, I have that addictive yeah, personality. I'm aware of. Mm-hmm. So it's been so like I always say I have eating disorders are the same as addiction. It's all the same thought processes. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. only I have addiction to like food, sugar, caffeine, and my fucked up body chemistry. Got it. So there's a lot Got of it. overlap, and the way I treat the eating disorder is a little bit. It's more similar to like how like alcoholics are like drug addicts or substance abusers do. Like so. a twelve step kind. Yeah. Of thing. Do you get a sponsor and stuff mm-hmm. too? Um, I haven't in a while. Oh. Okay. I do a lot of art therapy. That kind of is what's been getting me through. Yeah. I want to get back into it because I definitely feel like being in have degrees can really bring up like some of my old like stuff. Like yeah. It's just because like yeah. I grew up gay here. Like I mean I oh. moved out of here when I was nineteen. And, like, I was gay before it was cool. So, like, I have a lot of, like, trauma <laughs> right. from that and all yeah. sorts of stuff. Yeah. So. And being in Hartford County as a mm-hmm. gay male, I mean, yeah. 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 It's, I mean, it was intense. Yeah. And, and like, a, like one, someone who, like, messes with gender and, like, all that fun stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But so. you stayed yourself, though. Yeah. Right? And, I mean, now it's, like, you know, I look back, I find old videotapes, and I'm, like, nothing's really changed. I'm just, like... A little bit more unhinged, a little bit more fun, but yeah. I'm like more. Ca- I say I'm more calm now. You're more calm. Yeah, you're more calm. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Well, well, back in the especially when I, yeah. you know, had some had some substances, I can be a little. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good times. Yeah, that um, happened a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it does. And Vegas is like you know I always say Coke is like water there. <laughs> <laughs> especially when you're backstage, like when I was doing, mm-hmm. like when I was performing, it's like. Oh, okay. Here's this bitch from LA coming to perform. Oh, look, there's that. You want yeah. some? Sure. Sure. You so. know, there's this and that. And yeah, everything is easy access. Yeah. Like when I first moved there, coming from Hartford County, I've never seen alcohol just in a Walmart. Yeah. Or Let's in get drunk everywhere. at 8 a.m. and yeah. enjoy our day. And that's a norm. Or 7 yeah. 11, people are at the slot machines and drinking mm-hmm. like their coffee, like it's. This is oh, my yeah. morning routine. So, yeah, I'm like, wow, this is a, there's a lot of freedom here. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So how long were you in Vegas? Like, Ten years. Okay. So when did it start, like, transitioning to, like, just, like, fun party to, like, to party the, monster, I Yeah, say. to darkness. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, goodness. I would say uh, probably when I was around 28, 29. Mm-hmm. Saturn Returns. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was started. That's when I relapsed. So it, yeah. Yeah. I loved whiskey. And mm-hmm. the thing is, and a lot of people don't realize or see this, but I have a lot of anxiety too. Yeah. So Same. when I started, yeah, right, there you Same. go. And so when I started meeting friends, and then when I had my first experience in a club, a Vegas mm-hmm. club, I was like, drinking got me through yeah. all that, you know? And then Xanax came to play. Yeah. That got me through. Then, yeah. And, you know, I started getting Xanax off the streets, getting bars. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. And then oh, Adderall yeah. came into play. And <laughs> yeah. I must say, I know, I know all that stuff. Yeah. I used to say, like, I, in order for me to function, I needed a Xanax martini. Yeah. And to even just mm-hmm. deal with people, I was more confident. I could yeah. get into, like, VIP mm-hmm. just being whatever. Yeah. Just like, you know, it's, it's, it's like, like a game. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, I... I have dreams about it. I have dreams of that time and mm-hmm. being like fucked up like that. But like, I know like the minute I do it, it's I the darkness. Cause I have like, I have like experimented in the past like three years. And it's like, as soon as I did, I was like, I should have did this. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, we're good. Like right. lesson learned. Yes. But And yes. I, I try to turn everything through my comedy filter. Mm-hmm. And like, sometimes when I get like, when I'm, you can always tell when I'm feeling it. Because when I do stand up, it comes right out, yes. and I start making fun of it and like making fun of myself with it. Right. But I'm like, that's my coping mechanism. It's a lot. Yeah, if I, I hear that a lot with comedians. Yeah. For oh, sure. comedians are some of the darkest people. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. My dad. Yeah, he was a comedian. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's why I, I appreciate your guys' art mm-hmm. so much. Well, I mean, really you do awesome. slam poetry. I mean, that's how I got into stand up. Because right. I'm going to Towson for theater, and mm-hmm. we would always warm up doing slam poetry. Oh, nice. So, like, when when I you, they were doing the slam, I was like, oh, 
yes. I was like, I haven't done it in a while. I have stuff, but I started doing it. And then a lot of the teachers were like, you're naturally funny. You're more of a stand up. Oh. And then I was like, okay, like let's start tailoring it to stand up. And that's how I got into it. So nice. that's why I love slam poetry. Nice. So. Nice. It does tie into mm-hmm. every, everything. And there's talk about improv. Yeah. Oh. Too. oh, I can't. Improv's yes. the best. Yes. So. I love improv yes. so much. I talked to that theater group, Rose Swan. Yeah. And they're going to help with that. Excellent. We're just going to have fun in this town. Yes. It needs it. It needs it. Yes. We're going to take over. And I love that it's like, there's this, we're all together. We're all like creatives and we're all Mm -hmm. doing it. Like, I think think everyone on the podcast so far has been a part of this community. And it's like, yeah, I'm like, I don't know. I'm so happy. And it's weird. It's like, we've all been here. Like Liz and I were talking about Mm -hmm. that. It's like, I'm like, I saw your name all the time. Yeah. I've seen your artwork. Mm-hmm. I just never saw you. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And she's like, that's yeah. so, and I, she only lives around the corner. Yeah, she's right there. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, what? And then I think of like Davey, I think of Stoney, Linnea, like, mm-hmm. like all- you know, Katie, like we all are kind of like, we're all finally together yeah, and we're right. doing it. And like, cause it can be very, like, especially the old, like, I shouldn't say old, like the more traditional art scene. Yeah is very much like, I know my artwork's African devil worship to most of them. I keep saying that on the podcast because it's so (laughs) funny because I'm like, I've never, I'm neo-expressionist. Like, Mm -hmm. and you know, I studied in Africa. Like, that's a very big, like, theme in my artwork. I can see that now that you're saying that. And like the Native American, like, Mm -hmm. like uncolonized artwork is what I do. But it's African devil worship. And it's paranormal and spooky. And I'm like, okay, here we go. <laughs> or it's okay. always like a gay thing. Oh, yeah. But like, it's funny because like we're still, like I was so nervous doing the art of drag because mm-hmm. I was like, I know where every everything that's going to come at us, I know where it's going to come to. Mm-hmm. Like, and then Katie was like, I got it. Like, don't worry about it. Right. And that was the first time I was like, okay, like, it's gonna let's right. do this. Yes. And I'm so glad you did that. Yeah. That was, that just showed where we're going. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And every, we all were there. Everybody. Like, yes. and that so was, much support. and there was so much talk because, oh, Gallery 220 doesn't like sell artwork. They don't focus on like the art sales. I'm like, 10 pieces sold out of that yeah, show. I'll Six happened you opening guys night. It. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> you know, suck I see my dick. I saw like, a lot of red off. dots. Yes. Okay. Yes. Ugh. All right, ad break. I got to pay for all this damn coffee I'm drinking and tea I'm spilling. <laughs> it's me, Zenobia, darling. So as many of you know, I'm more than just a podcaster, stand-up comic, and drag queen. I'm also a very accomplished painter and photographer, and you can check it all out on ZenobiaDarlingCreative.com. I have an art blog on there sponsored by the Harford County Cultural Arts Board. And just all my paintings, photography, you get podcast stuff. I have an art film that premiered in September that you can buy on there too. So make sure you check it out. It supports me, supports the podcast. All right, so let's get back to the podcast. Oh yeah, it's a mess. <laughs> so do you do stuff at Haven, like with Linnea? Because she, I find she connects people. Like, Yeah, yeah, Linnea... Her, her and I go back, too. Yeah. Yeah. Because everyone seems to go back with Linnea, and I'm like... Yeah, I, I mean, I remember when she first opened Haven. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because my stepmom went there, mm-hmm. and, like, that was when I was still back in Vegas, and, like, I was kind of back and forth, and she's like, you got to check out Haven. Like, they're yeah. spooky, they're paranormal, and it's like... Yeah. And then once I did, I was... Because I had a really horrible experience in Bel Air, mm. like, doing a, a drag show. Like, some woman, like, threatened to kill me because she's, oh, like, a repressed lesbian and didn't want to admit it. So, of course, it comes <laughs> right. out in violence. Yeah, of course. And I'm like, okay, bitch. And yeah. then, like, I, like, walked into Haven the next day, and then I was like, oh, my God, come do it here. Do your artwork. Oh, my God, it works amazing. Mm-hmm. And then we talked about ghosts, and I was like... And that was it. Yeah. So, yeah. are you, like, really big in the paranormal? Um... N- Big or like yes, spiritual, the very spirit world. Spirit, yes, yeah. yes, and um, the paranormal and all that. It's just been a part of my life, yeah. since forever. Do you have um? Do you have any like really like spooky experiences? Yes. <laughs> sometimes I can tell the story, and sometimes I can't because mm-hmm. it's um till this day, and it's nothing against anybody. Mm-hmm. I I have a fear of seances and Ouija boards and stuff because I did something okay. and when I was 14 and uh, the neighborhood kids, we actually just talked about this last year and we wow. got like, but yeah, I brought back something 
very dark and stuff I've never even experienced before yeah. getting scratched and seeing a car with 666 in the back out of nowhere. Oh my and he, gosh. Like, disappeared and yeah. my friend was right there. We were just, yeah, and it, oh. it was. Horrific. Was it, because you're from Aber, was it near the railroad tracks? No, no. Okay, because I hear a lot in, of um, stuff. Cranberry Run. Okay. Or it used to be called Woodbrook back in the okay. day, where um, Ollie's and all that is. Okay. So it's like way in the back. Okay. I haven't. Because I know um, around like the CXS, like Railroad line, mm-hmm. there's a lot of stuff there. Yes. Like, and I'm constantly hearing stuff. I'll have to look into that because that there, I know there are some haunted houses back there. There is, and a very old graveyard. Oh, I, yes, because yeah. my mom, we always drive around to do like sunset rides to graveyards mm-hmm. and we went to that. It's like you go down like Bush Chapel or something yeah. and you turn and you go up and it was like graves from the 1700s and I was like, <laughs> right. this is so cool. Like, I know, I know. Yeah, that whole area is haunted. Yes. Definitely. Oh man. But yeah, it's just, it's just a part of my life and everything. Yeah. That's how I am. I always say like, it's kind of my higher power. I have my ancestor spirits. Like, Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's, I always have a weird mix. Cause like I used to date a voodoo priestess and he taught me a Mm -hmm. lot. And like, that's kind of what like speaks to me, but I also tailor it. Cause there's like shamanism and like, you know, like typical witchcraft and stuff in it. But I'm like, that's what keeps me sane. Like, that's what I'm like, okay, I'm stressed yeah. out. Take over ancestor spirits. Yeah, yeah. I've so. st- uh, studied a hoodoo, <gasps> but not voodoo. Ooh. Yeah. I've done that. I love it. Yeah. Because, like, I, I, with voodoo, it always interests me. Because I always, like, there's an intensity to it. Yeah. And, like, I've been trying. Like, I asked Stoney this before. Like, where do you think the intensity comes from? Because mm-hmm. there's, like, a there's a very intense. A lot of yeah. spirit and passion. Yeah. Gosh. I would, yeah. Because Stoney was like, he says it's from the reality of like slavery and stuff, which mm-hmm. I can see, but I'm like, I just find that fascinating. Yeah. So we're very um, passionate people. Yes. Very spiritual mm-hmm. people. And it's kind of like, that's why when something happens to one of us, we all grieve, we yeah. all fall, mm-hmm. we're all there. You know, just that's just how it is. Yeah. It's very Which powerful. That's the way, like, I feel like it should be. It's a community. Yes. Yeah. Like, we all have, like, the spooky, like, yeah. you know, the spiritual community, and we all connect. Like, that's, I, I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. And we're all cat people, I find, too. Yes. Because I'm thinking, <laughs> like, we all, like, I'm so excited when I'm, like, oh, I get to be everyone's cat. Yes. Like, yeah. have you met, um, have you met Rada, Davy's cat? Yes. <sighs> I know. That's my little babe. Like, yes. I'm, like, besides Melvin, my cat, mm-hmm. I'm, like, Rada's my little girl. Yeah. He, Monkey X just, like, Oh. Yes, we've definitely established that. We want to see them play together. Yeah. Just to see. They might play together. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I don't know. I know with my cat, Melvin, he is, he's a diva. And like, mm-hmm. I don't know. And I love cat drama more than like people drama. So that would be fun. Yes. Because like I had cat drama oh. yesterday with Melvin. Like, well, I didn't, Um, I normally do espresso shot like solo episodes. Mm-hmm. And I was recording the one for Thanksgiving that'll be out like tomorrow. Um. Like, this like, three weeks ago. Mm-hmm. He, like, comes in and just starts, like, meowing. And he's, like, trying to get to the microphone to meow in it. And I'm, like, <laughs> you are so me in cat form. I'm, like, and then last night, uh-huh. he, like, got on my house and was, like, just, like, walking around. I already told you that. Right. And I was, like, like what? I'm, Whatever. like, Melvin. And he's, like, what? What? <laughs> you found me. Can I have food now? Right. But they're I'm, just, like, there's nothing like cats. Cats are just, they're such snobs mm-hmm. and itchy, and, and I yes. love it. And every cat thinks they're the best specimen of cat oh, oh, yeah. there ever was. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I'm yeah. like, every single one, they're like, what? I'm Look at me. Look at me. Look at, look me. at me. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And I love that he does yoga, too. Yeah. He's on your yoga mat. <laughs> <laughs> he loves that mat. Monkey's more like she'll play with it and flip it and go crazy. She don't do yoga. Yeah. She's the crazy biatch. Ooh. I do love it. Mm-hmm. So, like, do you miss Vegas at all? or Because I miss the weather. Um, I miss the sunshine. I miss the restaurants. <laughs> I do. Yeah, I do miss the I restaurants. Miss choices. Yeah. I miss things just, you know, if I'm up at three, I'm like, yep. dang. Oh, yeah, I was just bitching just about that last night. Thai food or something. We even went to, like, last night we got done Bigfoot hunting. We were like, let's go to Denny's. They closed at midnight. Denny's closed? Yeah, the one in Perryville. Oh. I was like... That's some oh, bullshit. I thought Denny's was. Dang. They used to be twenty four yeah. hours. I was like, mm. dang. I'm like, I'm not going to Waffle House. I do get down yeah. with Waffle House, oh, but I got down when I was drinking. And, yes, yeah, I'm like, it brings same. back those memories, and I'm like, we're yeah. good. I fell asleep in a Waffle House drunk. 
Uh, yeah. yeah. You know, <laughs> just like, yeah. Yeah. And they're I've used thrown to it. up on a table before, just like, Whoa. yeah, look, they're used to it. They're yeah. just like, let her sleep. You know? mm, I get that. <laughs> <laughs> so, when you do slam poetry, like, mm-hmm. do you have, do you get in like a, like a rhythm with it? Like, how do you go about writing it? Oh my goodness. I'm so fascinated by slam um, poetry. So, I put on, believe it or not, like music, like, <laughs> like movie scores and stuff. Like oh, wow. Really like dramatic mm-hmm. ones. And I can literally just see a scene in my head and just like write it. Yeah. Or I'm literally just sitting here mm-hmm. and like the black woman poem that I did, yeah. it was 30 minutes before I the I really like that, yeah. Thank you. Thank and you. And I loved it because I did one about the last time I did the Vegas poem I wrote when I lived yes, there. Yes, yeah. And like... I always say Vegas is like a, like an alien outpost. Mm-hmm. It's like bizarre. And then you started bringing up the Vegas stuff, and I was like, I wonder if I inspired it. I'm like, yeah, I hope yeah. so. But I was yeah, like, yeah. But I loved it. Yeah, I'm working on that one. Yeah. I can't tell if I want to go darker or not mm-hmm. or funny. I'm going like both ways. Go both. Both ways. Go yeah. both. Start with fun and funny. Yeah, because I normally go as dark as possible, mm-hmm. and then I funny it up. If that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, because I yeah, because kind of comedy is where like I find it makes puts throws glitter on it, so yeah, it's like it makes it glitter. digestible. Yes, yeah. Because like I don't know if you've seen some of my sets. Like I'll go like mm-hmm. I'll do some like trauma sets. Yeah, like not so much here. Like I've done some in Baltimore a few times, mm-hmm. but like I'll say like an off color joke about like being like sexually molested or something, and like right. and I can tell the audience is like what, Whoa. and then I comment. I'm like, oh, too dark for y'all, and then mm-hmm. it kind of move on. But I'm like, I did say it. And I'm like, I can talk like this. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> nice, yeah. Because I'm like old school comedy. Like, I'm like, everything goes, mm-hmm. you laugh at everything. Like, yep. you know, yeah, like, it's I my story. That. I can talk about this. Yes, I miss that. There, yeah. You could do anything. Mm-hmm. Did you ever time. go to any, like, comedy clubs out there? Or? Actually, no. Because, like, the ones there, they're all corporate and they're not fun. Yeah, I don't think I was really mm-hmm. into that. Like I was Brad Garrett, into... I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to see the guy from Everybody Loves Raymond. No, I don't want to see him. So no. I was there in June to see Kathy Griffin. Okay. Which, but was she it? was playing at the, um, I think, where was she? The Mirage, not the Mirage. She was playing at one of those theaters. And I was yeah. like, I'm like, okay, it's a 3,000 seat th- like, theater. You know what you're doing. Like security was crazy as it always is. Mm. <laughs> so... Just standing there. I just miss, like, I miss the weather, and I miss going to see, like, oh, Lady Gaga's playing tonight. Let's go see Gaga. Because I saw Gaga on her residency, I think, like, seven or eight times. Mm -hmm. I've seen Britney the same amount. Right. I've seen most of them, and I miss that. And being so close to it, it wasn't a big deal. Like, here, you have to drive to Baltimore, Mm -hmm. D.C., you're like, ugh. Uh, And I'm I'm good. It's like you just... Drove up the strip, and by the way, I love mm-hmm. that parking was free. That was yeah. A, that was a, not anymore though. Yeah. Oh. Which <laughs> I was like, I was just watching a TikTok from one of my friends uh-huh. out there, and like apparently, like three of the casinos just started charging because of like the Grand Prix. Which have you been following anything with the Grand Prix they have on Vegas right uh, now this weekend? It was a shit show. Oh no! It was a shit show. I heard something. A car flipped or something. Yeah, a car flipped. They canceled yeah. the first night. <laughs> it just was like, the and heck? then like some. There were several like Vegas celebrities that were like bitching. <laughs> about it so oh God. ooh, so um where was it where are we going oh yeah all right reality television oh yeah <laughs> i feel like you're a reality tv person i am i actually just finished um selling sunset that's my favorite <gasps> okay, okay. I I, i've never i couldn't get into it because it like a lot of fighting and cattiness yeah it reminded me of the hills and yeah. like the hills and it's, i think it's the same pr- like producers for back in the day it is you um tell. and it like, I remember when The Hills ended, they showed it was kind of, like, soft scripted. Mm. And then, like, every time I'm watching Selling Sunset, I'm like, mm. uh, I'm like, that's it? a little too produced. Like, yeah. and also just studying reality television, mm-hmm. I've gotten really good at being like, what is that? Like, right. that didn't happen like that. That's a reshoot. <laughs> right. But I do love that they're going to, like, you know, a lunch meeting at, like, 10 a.m. on a Tuesday. And yeah. they're showing up like they're going to the club. Oh, I know. They're just yeah. all fashion. And the real estate I think that's porn. why I watch it. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm like, <laughs> oh, I live in this grand. And their commission grand. checks. Oh, God. I'm like, man. 
them. Mm. I would just sell one house and, yeah. and just be done with life. Oh, yeah. I'd be like, I'm good. <laughs> Get one of those, oh, Here's my 300K. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Peace. I'm going to live in a van and travel the world. <laughs> 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 That's exactly what I would do. I'm like, what? What? I got Ooh. half a million? Okay. So what other ones did you did, What, like, got you into reality TV? Do you have any, like, old ones from, like... Oh, well, I... I grew up right when Real World came on. Okay. Yeah, when Real World New York came on. So yes. I was right there in the beginning when reality okay. TV started. Real World started and it all. That we, and that was real because I was like, I watched it um, like last year. Yeah. It's like on Peacock or something. Oh, because they, didn't they revisit it and yeah. bring the original people in? Yeah, and then you can also watch the old episodes. Yeah. Is the one I'm girl like, so they racist? They jobs. Yeah. Okay, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, they actually had jobs. Mm-hmm. They, you know, had lives and sometimes they were home, sometimes they weren't. And like, things have changed so much. They yeah. just live in the house and they fight now. Yeah, pretty much. Because I remember yeah. like, I, I was casted as prior in Angel of America, which is like a play that it's a he's a queer character he's a drag queen dying of AIDS Mm -hmm. and I remember for dramaturgy the dramaturg was like watch real world San Francisco with Pedro and that was the first time I because I got into it with the Las Vegas season which was like when they shifted to be more trashy yes and um and it was less like docu-series yeah but um it was like I remember watching that and they were like, the one girl was doing her residency in nursing school. And then you had like mm-hmm. Pac, who was like, just like complete guard. He was a Vanderpump rules person. I say, yes. Yeah, he was and like, he God, was, punk rock trash. He made my stomach. Oh burn. God. I remember I went on a podcast like three years ago mm-hmm. to talk about that season. And I went into a deep dive with Pac. He was going to be on celebrity rehab and backed out because he was too dark and too much in a psychosis oh. that they would, the doctor drew wouldn't sign off on it. Oh wow. And I was like, that takes a lot. Cause celebrity rehab yeah. was like the darkest that of dark was, shows. That was. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. He was crazy. Oh yeah. And a mess. So I have to say there's a, there's a woman like she keeps popping down. Oh really? Yeah. So there is somebody. There in is. Here. Oh, I'm okay. sitting there looking. I'm like, I can see in the corner of my eye. It's uh-huh. like right like right on the stairs. Hey. But how she's are like you? not like she's kind of like checking it out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just checking. Cuz at first I thought it was a cat and I'm like no, the cat's not like I don't know, I just see the face pop down. Okay. So, but I am like a full-blown psychic, so like <laughs> I'm like yeah. Does she live here? I don't know. She yeah. definitely feels older. Yeah. I can bring my spirit box out. I brought it with me. Oh, okay. But yeah, you know, I think she's just, like checking it out. Just like she just kind of hey, peeks around. Yeah. I don't think she's going to like I don't know. She definitely Yeah, she lives here. Yeah. So like, hey, what the heck is yeah. all this? Do you get like freaked out with stuff? Because like sometimes when I do that, people are like, there's a ghost. And I'm like. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> well, because first of all, I haven't felt anything mm-hmm. bad. Like, so I'm not worried about it. I'm like, just chill. Yeah, all that's right. how I am. I'm like, <laughs> I love it. Have you, have you met any of the ghosts at the State Theater yet? So I haven't met any, but okay. I can definitely feel it. Yeah. I'm more uh, feel. Mm-hmm. I feel like a suction or a heaviness or yeah. just, I just know. I got to, because there's Jeremiah, who's like, he's like my friend. I just got an EVP like two weeks ago, Mm -hmm. like with Lexi, like, because he keeps like joking with me. Yeah. And like, he came through again and was like joking about giving me a dollar. (laughs) And then I found a dollar the next night when Mm -hmm. we were like cleaning up after the comedy show. Right. And I was like, this could be like just from the bar, someone dropping it. But like, the fact that there's a dollar, like just randomly on the floor, like, yeah. 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 I'm I, like, thanks, Jeremiah. I'm like, you gave me a you. dollar. You got a friend yeah. there. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so so I, I'll take you there to meet him because he's upstairs mm-hmm. on the balcony, but he kind of comes down. All and right. Then there's like I the, always look up on the balcony. I always yeah. He's up. so for if like I'm sitting on the stage mm-hmm. and you look out and here's like, here's all the seats and the bars there. It's mm-hmm. like you look up, he's like over here. Oh, okay. So cool. Yeah. So cool. you should do stand up comedy. Everybody keeps saying that. I don't know. I don't you should. Know. I don't know. I'm like spontaneously funny. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, I mean, yeah. your poetry, like, it has, you lean in, you kind of go into the funny. You lean into it, I can tell. Mm-hmm. But, like, also with the poetry, like, you go there. <laughs> and that's what I love about it. I know. I always cry. Yeah. I always cry. And then Davey was crying, and I was like, no. oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, um, like I said, it's it's coming from somewhere. Yeah. And I, I have to, it just does it. Yeah. I can't explain it. Mm-hmm. It's just like some word, some sentence just hits me. Yeah. Yeah. I get that. And just like with that poem, it, I think I was just, 
irritated. Something happened where I wasn't, I didn't have an attitude like mm-hmm. this person thought, but I knew it, if a white person th- did the same thing, it wouldn't mm-hmm. have been as threatening. Yeah. And then um, she thought I was being threatening, but I was just more like, just like I'm not, I'm just speaking up for myself pretty yeah. much. Yeah, and that's, like, where it kind of came from. It's like, I'm tired of that. Like, yeah. my mom's dealt with it. Every mm-hmm. black woman has dealt with it. Oh, yeah, the angry black woman yeah, stereotype. Yeah, angry I'm like, black woman stereotype. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the, and the strong black woman stereotype mm-hmm. is just, like, I'm tired of being yeah. strong because why do we have to be strong? Yeah, because other people can be messy. They can be Karens. Yeah. But I'm like, a black person is a Karen, and I'm like, there it and brings all up all this of shit. A sudden, yeah. Because I know I was nervous sharing the poem I did because like I talked about like being like a gay escort and like right. and doing all that stuff and it was with and there were people in the room who were very the old school have degrees and people who like mm-hmm. that type of person is where I have been very judged before so like Katie had to like kind of talk me down like before because I was like I don't want to do this I'm like I don't want them I don't want these people to know that side of me right and I'm like I'm okay with it most people know about that side mm-hmm. but like I'm like, I'm, I feel like I'm going to be judged. And I'm like, I'm, yeah. Right, but that's so, okay. But I get that because I feel like it's like similar to what you were saying, how it's like, you know, because they were old white people and it's like right. that is playing in your brain because it's like that past trauma is coming out. Right. And I was saying the poem to a room of white people. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. So. You know, it was just, and I actually sent that um, T-shirt I was wearing mm-hmm. Um, black women are the mm. answer. I sent the video. They are. I always say that we if black women answer. ruled the world, we would be in a way better situation. We would. We wanted to totally. Shit. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Yes. Definitely. But yeah, I sent the video to the people because mm-hmm. I said I would. They were yeah. vendors at the jazz fest up here. Excellent. Yeah. And then they posted it and they were just so happy. Yes. Yeah. There was um, some art pieces even at yours that yeah. I'm like oh yeah I wrote down some artist names mm-hmm. <laughs> so I was it Michael Brule he was he's the dude in the front that had like the Edgar Allan Poe stuff mm-hmm. loved him studio yeah. five this uh, that whole show I was like it touched me man. I was blown away was. and like I've had so many people I've had so many good compliments and it's like this area is starved for that type of stuff yep. and I'm like they got it and they then got it um, you, uh, yeah because i was nervous as fuck like going into I it <laughs> i was nervous and i'm like i'm gonna be in drag i'm like you know like, i was like we're gonna need security we're gonna need this because right. i was like really thinking but then like i saw pictures and i was like half of baltimore came up here i was like that they never and a lot of them were like this is cool yeah and now they're getting more involved up here yeah and i'm like Thank God. Thank goodness. I'm like, it's a 20 minute ride up 95. It's not that it's bad. It's not that bad. Mm-hmm. We're good. I'm so glad it turned out spectacular. Yes. Did you watch the movie? So, yeah. Oh, you were yeah. there? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What did you think of the yes. movie? Yes. That was great. I love your it's personality. A hot mess. Oh. <laughs> it's such a mess. Yeah, I love it. So, your little Dollar Tree makeup. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> I love it. And, like, oh, that but was I so was fun. I was telling, that day. like, my mom, like, you're not like other drag queens. I'm not. And I love that. And she's like, I like that. Yeah. Like, I'm more, like, I always say, I'm, I'm more of a stand up comic. Like, I, I'm not. I used to do all the like stereotypical drag, like even like the drag show at the state. The, like I, all them know me and I know them mm-hmm. from performing together like years ago in Baltimore. And now I'm like, I can't do that. Like, right. you know, I injured my knee in Vegas two years ago, have not been able to dance like that. Oh. And I'm just more, I want to like do comedy and do more like that type of stuff mm-hmm. and be more like in films and movies and like reality television. Right. So reality television, but like I gave it that like real housewives <laughs> edit. Like I'm like, I gave it to the filmmaker and I'm like, watch real housewives in New York city, watch Vanderpump rules. Mm-hmm. I was like, this is how you edit it. You want to troll me, show me being messy. <laughs> and like, I even, and like, I've learned like when I, like I, I drink, but I don't have any more than two when I go mm-hmm. out and I'm like really big about my boundaries. Right, right. But when I'm doing the movie, I just like, I drink a lot of water, but I make it look like I'm drinking like a vodka soda. Yeah. <laughs> so, and I always make sure that every single time I'm on camera, I have a different drink. Like I'll even pick up someone else's drink just oh, for the wow. shot. Yeah. So it looks like I'm like a major alcoholic. Right. <laughs> like, yeah, like, that's what I said. Yeah. Like it's like just cheap makeup, alcoholic, just a mm-hmm. Vegas. 
<laughs> yes, there's a Vegas <laughs> slut a Vegas just being slut, messy. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I was like. This is mm-hmm. great. <laughs> oh, yeah, because, like, my dad watched it. He's like, you really put the fun and functional. And I was like... <laughs> I wasn't, dr- I was acting. I was like, <laughs> people forget that I'm like a trained actor. I'm like, that's all acting. <laughs> You're great at it. Yeah. I even was like, has he been drinking? I'm like, he's like, fucked up. <laughs> 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 you did good. <laughs> <laughs> but did you like remember like all the paparazzi days of like the mid 2000s? Like, yes. that is so like where my drag started. Like, I mm-hmm. wanted to be Paris Hilton. Yeah. So, like, when I was doing that, I was like, okay, Lexi, you're paparazzi. I'm yeah, like, like, we gotta... Because <laughs> I'm like, that's fame. I'm like, we're famous. We're doing yeah. this. Yeah. Ugh. That part was cute. That yeah. was so awesome. So, yeah, I'll have to send job. you the full thing because it's like... Because it's really good. Like, when you, like, sit at home on, like, a slow Sunday, mm-hmm. just, like, smoke a blunt and, like, watch it. Like, oh, I did that last Sunday. week and I was like... <laughs> God, this is really funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's on my website, it but I'll send funny. you the link. People so. were laughing too. Which it was I was, because I was backstage. I was like nervous, freaking out. I was sweating. I was Aww. like, oh my God. You it was came fun. Out like, whatever. Hi, guys. <laughs> yes, yes. And I like the serious question you even got from. I did get a few. Yeah. Yeah. That was really, because I mean, it's a big thing right mm-hmm. now. It's a huge topic. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's all the. People are so dumb. Well, that's yeah. the thing, like, like we never, we didn't get it at the gallery, and I know Katie and Lexi, like, really shielded me from it, but, like, we were preparing for, like, you know, our, like, county commissioner who's, like, a wannabe MAGA idiot mm-hmm. trying to use it as a political stunt, or, like, just, like, the hate, because the state theater, when they post the drag brunches, the shit that they get mm-hmm. is crazy, like, wow. accusing them of being, of, like, platforming pedophiles accusing them of like you know sex work like promoting sex work and i'm like well for one thing if they want to do that it's not like who gives a fuck second of all like know what drag is like really yes really just i was like you send people to the the catholic church where i'm like they actually have a history of sexual abuse i'm like most drag queens are not worried they don't want kids at the show (laughs) yeah men have been dressing up like women on stage and everything and women dressing up as men Men, and it's it's like it's you know Zenobia is a like you know she's a character like you know she's a fully evolved theater character exactly so I love her so going back to rowdy television oh yes yes Yes. So do you watch any type of like intervention, anything like that? Yes. Interventions, like I was watching it last night. <laughs> I, I was it. watching, there was a woman, it was just on, because I watched the shorts on YouTube. Some woman, she's like 67 and like she had two kids and one mm-hmm. kid has like an intellectual disability and the other like daughter was like, she's like high funk, or no, she's like a high IQ and has like her like PhD and something. Mm-hmm. And the mom just gets drunk and will like call like, her and just left the nastiest voicemail saying like I wish that like you had the disabled disability and your son mm-hmm. the son was fine and, like just like craziness and I'm like this is so dark but I'm like this is so compelling and it's yeah. like I love shit like that in such a dark way <laughs> does it like trigger you watching it at all or no it's it's interesting you're bringing up intervention because I would watch it while I was drinking okay. knowing that I had a problem yeah. but it was no I get that I liked though it's just kind of yeah. like time to watch intervention Mm -hmm. get my whiskey out did you um (laughs) did you find that it kind of like it helped lay some groundwork when you actually did get in recovery because that's something that i because there Mm -hmm. was a show on the oprah network when it first started called addicted to food where they filmed like a six-week eating disorder rehab center oh and i remember watching that and like so then when i actually did have to go to treatment Mm -hmm. a few years later i found that there was like this groundwork that was already there and I feel like it helped make it stick. And then, like, that's something that, like, I haven't fully explored in my, like, theatrical, like, research yet. Mm-hmm. But I definitely think there's something to watching that type of stuff mm-hmm. on reality television done in, like, a empathetic and, like, ethical way. Yeah. That kind of, like, you know, it lays, like, a good foundation. That's true. It's some, I, I do agree with that. Mm-hmm. But, like, me, mm, yeah, I... What my big turnaround was the drunk driving accident. Mm-hmm. Well, no, almost dying. For yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know that part. But yeah, it, me, I was, I was just really interesting in the head. Yeah. I don't know. I can't explain it. Like, yeah, I just, you know, I just cannot explain no, it. No, I get that. Yeah. It was just really interesting in the head. Mm. Yeah. It took a lot for me to get sober. Yeah. 
Mm. Was there definitely, did you like, did it have to take a few times for it to mm-hmm. like? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Actually, I remember going to rehab the first time mm. and I didn't want to leave. I, I even said it. I said, if I leave, I'm like, I'm not going to make it. Mm-hmm. And you're like, use your tools. Da, da, da. Yeah. <laughs> right. And, and I remember like, getting in my grandmother's car and they're like, yeah. oh, you're cured. Da, 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 da. And, and I'm like, I'm just like, let's go to the liquor store. Yeah, yeah. In two weeks, went to a friend's house. She had whiskey. Mm-hmm. And at first they're like, are you supposed to be drinking? No, but who cares? Yeah. You're like, I'll t- whatever. Yeah. Life's good now. Yeah. I drank some. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, within two weeks and each time, you know, I would get worse and worse yeah. and worse. Mm-hmm. Were you ever like homeless at all or like living yeah. on the street? Okay. Yeah, in my car, uh, street, people's couches, towards mm-hmm. the end, a slum yeah. in um, Pennsylvania. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I bet you have some stories there. Yeah. Oh, Columbia, PA. Oh, oh wait, is that near Harrisburg? No, it's near Lancaster. Oh, It's okay. just like really just yeah. a small town, but just. Shitty. Shitty, yeah. 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 I get that. Yeah, and it wasn't a good place to be a drunk, (laughs) for sure. But I was definitely the town drunk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. That's always... I know. I mean, I always say like it's <laughs> it's because it's, like, it's like it's when you look back at it, you're kind of like, oh god, because I, I think back at like, some of like my eating disorder days, and I'm like, mm-hmm. some of the shit I was doing, like some of the the crazy situations I got into, yeah. like I'm like I sit back and laugh now, and I'm like, if I had a kid and they did that, I would have like. I would have to be committed because I'd probably have a stroke right. from how stressed out it would make me. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I think about my mom too. I'm mm-hmm. like, ooh. Like someone yeah. like, and I used to think like when I was, I moved to DC in 2011 when I turned 19. Okay. And like I started go-go dancing at a, a club that's now closed down. Go-go dancing. And then like, it. well, it was basically stripping, but it was like go-go <laughs> dancing. And then I, um, like then I started doing drag and like I would just like pop a tab of acid, mm-hmm. get in drag and then walk around DC like all night. And I'm like, what the fuck was I <laughs> thinking? I'm like, <laughs> right. are you kidding me? I'm like, and then some of the stories I had, cause like mm-hmm. where that club was, it's off U Street, but like, I mean, the club closed down and they built like luxury condos because it's been gentrified. Yeah. 10 years ago, that was not U a good Street area. Still kind of st- it's still sketch, sketch yeah. but it was even sketchier back mm-hmm. then. And I'm like, here I am walking around by myself and like, you know, zombie glamazon, goth, oh like half crazy drag looking a mess. Nobody just like, wanted to mess with you. Yeah. Probably. Well, that's <laughs> the thing. I have learned that like a lot of like the street people, they're not, they're like, we don't fuck with drag queens. <laughs> and like, I've seen some, like, uh-huh. I remember one time we were, we were at Nelly's and I was up on the top floor and on that little side street off U Street, mm-hmm. like a Marine said something to three drag queens who were leaving town which used to be the dance club there and walking in Ellie's and the three drag queens like started like flipping out and like beat the shit out of this like buff <laughs> Marine. And I was just sitting there. I'm like, no one fucks with drag queens. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. They I can, loved they it. Can scrap. <laughs> so do you go out, do you, are you familiar with like DC at all? Like, do you? Yeah. I started um, going to DC when I started to drive again. Okay. Yeah. So that was last year and I love it. I've been there four times. Um, mm-hmm. And twice to see the opera. Oh, yeah. So I go to the opera and I stay for the weekend and treat myself to like a nice mm-hmm. dinner and dress Where do you up norm- nice. What part of the city do you stay at? Um, anywhere. I just go on Airbnb mm-hmm. just to explore some areas. But my favorite area, believe it or not, was like around First Street. Yeah. And it's like half sketch, but half not. Is it, it's in Northwest, right? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. And it was like a. Yeah, because that's how D- I, I always would say, live. I would live there. Yeah, you know, well, DC. It's uh, DC's in, like Baltimore in the way where it's like this street's fine, yeah. the next street over. Like, Ooh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Because I have a lot of friends that live in Southeast, which is like mm-hmm. like that's Anacostia, that's like almost PG County, that's like the the rougher area. Right. But they live there, and it's like, oh yeah, my street's fine. Just I don't go down that street, but I'm good. Yeah, and I'm just like don't go down that one. Yeah, and I'm know. like, oh, that's Baltimore. That's all of Baltimore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. And I love DC. I went to a cannabis spa there mm-hmm. too. Oh, yeah, that was how was that? Um, okay, so I thought it was gonna be like a spa spa, but mm-hmm. it was just like um, pretty much looks like someone's apartment with a chilled area where mm-hmm. they probably smoke. In yeah. a room, but he gave me a shot of this pineapple juice with uh, something in it, 
And yeah, and then I got my massage and I was just in heaven. I love it. See, I but I'm such heaven. a weird stoner kid that like when I smoke, I like I like lock myself away and I'm like, I can't be around people. <laughs> I'm like, ah. Oh. Right. You know, I was just like, yeah, mm. la, 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 la. So do you find yeah. that cannabis helps in recovery or? I think it does. I, yeah. I know um, I definitely have been talked to from other addicts like, mm. nope, mm. nope, that's still a drug. Nope. Well, I'm like, no, I'm still sober in my eyes. Yeah. I'm not using it to keep me sober. Yeah. I'm using it for anxiety, mm-hmm. you know, seizures and other things. And I just like it. So, yeah. No, I get, I'm the same <laughs> way. Like, I, my mom you know, is like a wake and bake smoker. And it's yeah, like, we, like, I grew whatever. up with no, there wasn't any like weirdness about weed. She was like, when you are old enough and you want to explore it, mm-hmm. like, I'll, I'll walk you through it. Like, you'll be safe. It's not drugs. Like, I mean, my, my dad's like, oh, smoking dope. And I'm like, yeah, dad, I'm smoking dope. Like, right. But my right. mom's like, it's, it's fine. So, like, I grew up, like, and now it's like, you know, mm-hmm. I definitely have my, I don't smoke during the day. I kind of keep my boundaries with it just because I know how I get. Yeah. Unless I'm, like, painting. If I'm painting, like, and a lot of times if I want to do, like, the traditional have grace art, yeah. I smoke a blunt and then paint. And it's I'm like, here's my it. landscape stuff. <laughs> Got which it. is, like, the fun stuff. Right. But right. I need a studio. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're, like, like, in the gallery 220. Mm-hmm. Galleries, they're like in the. I think they're in the process of trying to figure out what they're doing in the back. Oh, okay. But I'm like, we have me and Liz have fun back there. Yeah, I and it's haunted as fuck. Do. Yeah, <laughs> it's haunted as fuck. I know you guys. I love have a it. Time. So, um, so you watch Vanderpump Rules? Yes. What are your thoughts? My thoughts are, I'm gonna keep watching it. It just mm-hmm. seems like there's gonna be a lot of drama. I only yeah. did like season one. And you said you're at episode. I think Vegas is four or five. Yeah. Yeah, they're in Vegas, mm-hmm. but I want to kind of rewatch it because I was falling asleep too. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. it's the best. It's, it's it's the best. Yeah, and I yeah I, so what I do you, was not expecting that at all. Yeah. What do you think of Sheena? Because she talks like she this, and she's oh, like uh, that one. <laughs> she's from Azusa, and Azusa is like the I would say like the Edgewood of Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's um so I'm I'm still trying to grasp okay. it and the names, but I definitely remember mm. the saw sauce what's her name? Astasi. Astasi. Yeah. But they call her something. I it's, her name's Astasia, but it's there's Stasi. Stasi. Okay. She's the blonde one. There's right. Kristen. Who, that but the, that's crazy, Kristen Doty. She's mm-hmm. like my personal favorite because she's like a personality disorder, dark chaos, like yeah. personified. And it's, oh, it's right. just wait till season three. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I, you haven't met James Kennedy. He didn't come on till season three, but you met mm-hmm. Jax, Sandoval, who I hate Sandoval. <laughs> He's a mess. And yeah. I love it because that early season, they're like, I want to be Michael Jackson. I want to be Britney Spears. And it's like, <laughs> no. Yeah. And who? so which one is the jerk? Pretty much. Oh, that's Jax. That's Jax. Yeah, yeah. Like the big dumb ape. Yeah, I and that's smack like, him. and just wait because he keeps getting plastic surgery. He's like a real housewife because he comes oh. back every season with a new face. Really? Yeah. And have you picked up yet on the drug subtext with Vanderpump Rules? I don't think there's so. a massive like, and a lot of people in recovery pick up on it, mm-hmm. but production will actually edit it because they're all doing Adderall, they're all doing coke. Oh, okay. And it's like, and production knows about it because I, I know people behind the scenes and they've said like yeah like mm-hmm. we don't get we just shoot whatever but they'll they we can't show it on the, sh- the them doing it but you can definitely tell what their behavior is you're like yeah it's 4 a.m and y'all are fighting like and they're that going I'm crazy like, yeah. yeah and i'm like i know what that mm-hmm. is yeah so. yeah for sure do you watch any type of like housewives or anything I haven't, but my favorites are um, New York. Oh, definitely. The old school New York. Old school New York. Who's your favorite on there? Um. <laughs> uh, oh shoot, what's her name? She's the entrepreneur. I look up to her oh, with God. the vodka. Oh, Bethany. Yes. Bethany. Yes. yes. I yes. like Bethany. I look up to her. I think she's yeah. like a strong businesswoman mm-hmm. and oh, I yeah. listen to her. Old you school know? New York though. There's not, that's like the top And notch. the Countess. Yeah. I like her Oh sometimes. God, Lou. Who's, she's like a damn I don't like queen. later Lou, Lou. Yeah. Or that Lou. Yeah, Lou Ann. I don't like, cause she got kind of like, well, she has like an arc cause she came on there. She was married to the Count who backstory on that. 
she, she was married to the De La Seps family, who were the family, the French family mm-hmm. that like the French aristocracy put in charge of the Suez Canal in Egypt. And they controlled all like the tariffs and fees to use it. Mm-hmm. So they're like loaded from like basically exploiting like Egypt. Oh my God. It's like a hundred years ago. Mm-hmm. So she was all like, I'm the countess. Like you don't talk to the help. Yeah. Don't say my real name. And I hate that shit. I hate it. That. They get divorced. And then she's like fucking a 22 year mm-hmm. old. And then Going she's getting crazy. like a DUI. Yeah. And being nuts. I'm like, what the heck? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. my fave. Do you like Sonia? Is that the blonde crazy one? Yeah. Who yeah. lives in a townhouse? I, she no, nah, well, so, she, no. <laughs> yeah, I, she gets too drunk. I feel yeah, like, like and it's she's just <laughs> a mess. Oh my god! I know, but my hands down, I my think she f- does coke. Oh, definitely, yeah. <laughs> definitely. There, that is one thing about New York. Like, have you met Dorinda on there yet? I'll remind. She's me. the one that does kind of this, and she's a short hair, and she's mm-hmm. like the widower and whatnot. She comes on a little bit later, but she mm-hmm. is friends with them. They, she's kind of in the early seasons as like a side character that they mm-hmm. only show occasionally, but then she actually comes on, I think season seven. Okay. She, the, the rumor is she was dating the cast Coke dealer. Oh. So like, especially in later seasons, mm-hmm. like, you know, when they're fighting at 3 a.m. Yes. Like in Mexico, <laughs> I'm like, I know what that is. I know what that is. That's always like when they're fighting at four, when they're fighting at 3 a.m. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's not just like fighting. It's no, like, it's you know, chaotic. you yeah. And you're like, like fighting about shit from like 20 years ago that doesn't even exist. Yeah. And you're like, what the fuck? And screaming. Just like there was a show, yeah. like some of the one season wonder shows, like real world will have an occasionally, but it's like, I, that's my favorite thing is spotting drug subtexts. Like what drug are they on? Yeah. Which one? Oh, you're sweating a lot. X. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like, especially when you're like, <sighs> like going like that. Mm-hmm. And it's, oh, that's like my fave. Good time. I love it. So you said selling sunset. Yeah. What other shows do you watch? Uh, well, I liked the first two seasons when mm-hmm. Christina was on there. Is she the really vile one? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why, but sometimes I really like her because mm-hmm. she's real. Like, I don't know if she's real, real, but yeah. she's she says what everyone is thinking. That's very it's, true. And she looks gorgeous doing it. And she looks That's great. That's the best part. Her fashion is just amazing. Yeah. So sometimes I really like mm-hmm. her. Do you watch any like paranormal rally television? I used to. Mm-hmm. I don't have cable and stuff now. Yeah, but no, I know I I'll watch like TikTok, like haunted videos, like okay. people that catch things on camera yeah. and everything. And sometimes I'll do like a dual yeah. thing while I'm watching it. <laughs> no, I get that. Yeah. I'm, I do that a lot. Yeah. So. But no, I actually used to work next door to the um, the, the ghost hunter dudes. The three of there was like three dudes, one blonde hair, one. Oh. It was a it was a popular. Was it in Vegas? Ghost Hunter, yeah. Was it Zach Bagans? I think so. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. And do you notice, this is in Vegas, I've noticed, there's a lot of people who are very much to, like, the dark side of mm-hmm. paranormal things. Mm-hmm. Like, I, it's like, everywhere you go, I'm like, okay. Well, I'm like a lot of darkness. Yeah, well, there's darkness in general, but it's yeah. like, I, it, it oh, never ceases to fascinate me, like, where I'm like, oh, like, you are, like, you're loving the devil worship thing, which there's yeah. nothing wrong with it, but I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm like, that's interesting. Yeah. I'm like, because only there has, <laughs> I've seen stuff like that. Right. I've seen a lot of it. And they're just like so that. open about it. And I'm like, mm-hmm. that's kind of cool, but at the time I'm like, that makes sense. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's always, like, some type of, like, meth energy with a lot of them, too. Yes. And I'm yeah. like, okay. Meth energy, yes. God. Yes. Oh, the meth. Have you met, like, meth. DC is yeah. a lot of meth. Yes, I and know. And people don't talk about that. A lot. And I like how people are good at ignoring them, too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, you can tell when someone's on meth. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely. There is, um, definitely. So, on Vanderpump Rules in later seasons, when you meet DJ James Kennedy, mm-hmm. the rumor is that he is a major meth head. Mm. And there are, like, there's one scene, there's, in season three, it's Sheena's wedding, him and Kristen get into like a knockout drag out fight. Dang. And like the only way I can like, like I watch it and the only way I can like rationalize it, I'm like, oh, you're methy. You're a messed out <laughs> twink. <laughs> it makes sense. Yeah. Oh, okay. So like, are you dating anybody or like, have you? <laughs> um, I'm, well, I'm You don't talking. have to like go into the specifics. Uh, no, but... no, no, it's fine. No. Well, I'm starting to 
date after like seven years okay. because I was concentrating on being sober, on yeah. sobriety. So I finally started last year. Yay. So how has um, it been? Oh my God. There's some crazies here. Yeah. Well, the first one, mm-hmm. I'm like, I could handle anything. I've yeah. been through a fire. I've been through drugs and alcohol. Mm-hmm. I could handle Wait, you've been her. through a fire? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. I lost. Um, actually, I used to live right on Bourbon right here. Was it that her. apartment building right yeah. there? Okay. That was, yeah. That caught on fire. Too. Okay. Almost. Now it'll be three years in January. Okay. Yeah. But no, I, I couldn't handle mm-hmm. love. <laughs> Oh yeah, I just, found out about mm. attachment styles and stuff. I'm like, I think I'm an anxious attachment. I'm like, uh oh, Jenny. Yeah, yeah. And my and the girl I was seeing, it was avoidant <laughs> attachment. Oh god. And I, you know, mm-hmm. and then I wasn't used to all that. Yeah. Oh man. Like, have you found like it might be different with like girls, but here there's a lot of guys who are gay, but they're like they're not fully out and okay mm-hmm. with themselves with it. Mm-hmm. I keep running to that here. And I'm yeah, like, that is yes. And I'm like, yeah. I just miss, this is what I miss like Vegas and like LA and like mm-hmm. DC. Cause I'm like, I want to be around gay people who are gay. Like, yes. I'm like, where are they at? I'm right. like, <laughs> I feel like around here with the lesbian scene, it's mm. like everyone's bi. Yeah. Or just, curious. Mm-hmm. I'm like, is there anybody just wants to date and, or they're all in Pennsylvania. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm like, what? I know Mm -hmm. I'm not the only one in here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. (laughs) And a lot of them, like, I feel like I've been used to, like, for guys to, like, figure themselves out. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, we're good. Mm -hmm. I'm like, we're good. Yeah. Yeah. Or, like, you got to hook up, and they're like, um, okay, like, don't, I don't want to, like, touch you. And I'm like, excuse me? (laughs) 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 Oh, yeah. That's the one thing I've noticed, the difference is... Dating in Vegas, it's like you could just find somebody. Yeah. And it was like easy. Yeah. And it was like. Here, it's like, I don't know. Man. Yeah. And then I can tell guys like me, but again, they're like, they're not comfortable with themselves. And mm-hmm. that's why I'm like, just go somewhere. Like, let's go somewhere gay and you'll be on other gay people. And it's, yeah. <laughs> You're like, most gay of teacher. my gay friends that like I know here, like they've moved. Like my best friend, he's from here. Like Dylan, he lives in San Diego now. Oh. And it's like, you know, and then I know other gay people who aren't even like from Dang. here. And I'm like, so I give, that's what I m- dislike about having a degree. So that's something I feel like it's like dating here is a nightmare. Well, that's why I wanted to do the LBGTQ plus B dating. Yeah. I'm like, cause that, that would bring them mm-hmm. all. I'm like, okay, there you guys are. Yes. Right, that's all exchange I'm like, numbers. Cause, cause, I, cause I know they're here. <laughs> they're here. I know they're here. Yeah. I see them on the yeah. singles like apps. Yeah. And, and then also, you know. like, when I was a little bit unhealthier mentally, I would hook up with a lot of them on Grinder. Oh, yeah. So, like, yeah. there's, like, a few of them. I'm like, I know. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Or, like, also, like, I kind of have a star power. Mm-hmm. A lot of people, a lot of guys, they get very weird about that. And it's, mm-hmm. like, like, I had one dude, and, like, we hooked up. And then afterwards, I was like, do you want, like, a drink or something? I was like, I kind of mm-hmm. just, I wanted, like, hot tea. And so I went over to my kettle and like, he's like, he came up and like hugged me. He's like, this never happens. I never have someone live, like you over. And I'm like, what do you, like, I'm a human. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> like, that was weird. Oh my God. And I was like, and then he got like really clingy. And then also I found out he was a witch and he was like doing like love mm-hmm. spells to have me fall in love with him. Oh which my God. I was like enough enough yeah because once i picked up on that and that was like a year after that whole happened mm-hmm. i went to Lene and i was like what do we do and she's like do this 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 mm-hmm. we're good i'm like i had totally blocked him but i'm like dude get the fucking hint like right you're, like y- you you creeped me out like <laughs> i yes i am zenobia darling i, I am like guys are creepier with yeah 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 women are just like sweet and <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> some of them some of yeah oh there's a, i've also met a lot of I will yeah. say the best, like, couple fights I've ever seen were between two lesbian couples. Mm-hmm. That's always the best. Yes. Like, they love hard, but yes. they fight harder. I love that. But, like, that's the passion. That's and it's passion. Like, you know, yes. Like, that's how usually how my relationships mm-hmm. are. <laughs> no, I'm trying not no, to. No, I get that. I get that. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm when you, a passionate um, person. Like, when you go out on a date here, where do you go, like, restaurant-wise? Because I'm still not comfortable, like dating here like a lot of times mm-hmm. i'll go to like baltimore 
Because, like, I, I don't think anything's going to happen, but, mm-hmm. like, I'm still just kind of, like... Well, I bring girls here mm-hmm. um, from Pennsylvania. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, why are they not here? But a good date is to show them around town. That's true. And, um, like, spend the day here. So I'll take them to, like, Vintage Cafe mm-hmm. for brunch or something like that because yeah. it's cute and... Mm-hmm. Small towny, they yeah. just love small towns, you oh, know, yeah. <laughs> in the water. So just that whole experience, and then I know a lot of people. Yeah. So that's a true test too, because mm-hmm. I had a girl come here during mm-hmm. a festival. Oh God. And uh, she was very shy, mm-hmm. a reserved person. She would rather be home than out kind of person. Yeah. And then here I am, Jenny. Do do do. Everybody's stopping. Hi 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 hi. Yeah. What's up? What's and up? And she started like sweating and. Mm-hmm. Just, yeah. I get that. She left. Because I have two modes. Fireworks. I have, yeah, like, Because <laughs> I have, like, I either am out or I'm, like, introvert. Because I'm an introvert, naturally. And mm-hmm. people don't pick up on that. But, like, like I can't do bars anymore. Yeah. Unless I'm, like, performing or I'm, like, VIP. Like, I'm a bougie, bougie Vegas bitch in that way. Right, right. But, like, I get that. Because it's also here, like, you know, my family's been here for, like, a thousand, like 100 years. So mm-hmm, it's, like, mm-hmm. everyone knows my dad. Everyone knows my grandparents, my great aunt. Like, all that stuff. And they're, like, oh, my God, Derek. Or they know me from high school when I was, like. Somebody was actually just saying, I feel like I know him. Does he have family here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you who later. But yeah. But, yeah, I'm, like, I think so. I've mm-hmm. seen the last name on Facebook on people you may know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're everywhere. And I'm, like, of course, yeah, like a fungus, I say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my dad's in, like, the, the fire company and, like, you know, uh, like, my, just. Yeah. Yeah. And then when I go out, like people know me and where they know me from like when I was the weird, quiet goth gay kid in high school. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm different. Yes. So yes. you're killing it. Yeah. So Excuse wrapping me. up. Yeah. So where can we find you? Where can we, you know, get in touch with you? Where can we see your events? Oh, and stuff? okay. So you plug can yourself. plug myself. Okay. Mm. So you can do Instagram, which is Jenny underscore sanctuary. Mm-hmm. And then Jenny Mech is Facebook. Mm-hmm. Jenny, J E N N I M E C K. And then if you want to be part of the poetry slam on Facebook, we have a group as Havity Grace Poetry Slam. Okay. I got a, am I joint? No, I, I think we you haven't accepted it. Oh, I have it. God, I will do that. I will like do that. Months. I will do that. <laughs> okay. Ooh, okay. see, that's the magic of having grace. Yes. Like people stop by. People just like, knock and stop it. by. It's like a t- just a typical friendly yes. town. That's what I love about it. And yeah. it's like everyone knows each other, and it's mm-hmm. like we're all friendly. We're like Gilmore Girls. Yes. We really like are. that's the magic. Like that's what I, like I'm, I always say. I'm always going to be angered in having grace, mm-hmm. and it's like stuff like that. It's like I ooh. love. I love it. So wrapping up, Mm -hmm. we kind of talked about Britney Spears just now with our guests. Yes. You, I feel like you have thoughts on Britney. I do. (laughs) I mean, I've always felt for her. I think Mm -hmm. that's the intuitive side of me. And with some of her music, even back then, I mean, she was pretty much telling us, you know, like lucky star. Yes. And yes. that once she's so lucky, one. she's a star, but she cry, cry, cries yeah. in her lonely heart, heart. thinking, yeah. if there's something missing in my life, then why do these tears come at night? Yeah. yeah. I mean that and that slow one. Oh, every time. Yeah. Oh yeah. Where she Love like that song, yeah. but it's always she's been there. Oh, and I, and I've always picked up on it and I, I had, I mean, I'm just happy that she's free. Yeah. I can't believe, I mean, that's abuse. Yeah. Like, 100 percent she's like, our generation needs, yeah they need to go jail yeah. something needs and to the be fucked done. up part is that's her family yes but like she's our generation's judy garland like i'm mm-hmm. i love like i mean i'm gay so i love judy but mm-hmm. like if you watch all these like you know the studio system right. that is the modern studio system is it's more of like the family like the kardashians have it they're not as dark as that and i think all the Kardashian like clan, they're all in on it, so they're right. not being abused. But in a situation like Britney, like that was like that was abuse. That was psychological torture. Like yeah, keeping you know. her doped up mm-hmm. and and think just... of all the men artists who 
have had Justin Bieber, Kanye, Mm -hmm. who have had serious mental illness. And I do think Britney does have some mental health issues, like a lot Mm -hmm. of people do. Yeah. But it doesn't mean you take away their freedom and torture them like that. Yeah. And then then make them do a Vegas residency. Because, like, Mm -hmm. I kind of spoke there, like, I love Britney Spears. She's one of my favorites. And... I remember seeing her during like the first month of her Vegas residency and she was really excited and it was Britney. And then I saw her a year later and like, I'd say her shift was over cause mm-hmm. she it's, and you could tell like she wasn't into it. And then I got to thinking like just being a performer myself, like she's being forced to perform and I right. know what that looks like. And that's when I was like, this is dark. Like I, something's off. Right. And then when the whole thing happened where the Vegas residency ended and then she was a new one, and she just like walked off stage and it never happened. And then apparently she was locked away in a mental health in- institution. Mm-hmm. I'm like, that's fucked up. I'm like, you know, people have mental health issues, but it doesn't mean you do that to them. Right. Well, she probably developed more yes. mental health issues yes. being controlled. Yes. Because trauma mean, does that. I mean, yeah. It's, I it's, mean, watch anyway, her videos yes. when she was dancing alone. Mm-hmm. I remember when that started. Mm-hmm. And... Just like, what is that? Everybody was just like, are you calling for help? What is yes. what's going on? I mean, I definitely, she, I think now that she's let on that, like, you know, because I, I mean, I was part of that, fa- I mean, the Free Britney movement. I mean, mm-hmm. in my first book, I wrote that in 2019. I'm talking about the Free Britney movement and how yeah. something's off. I don't know what it is, but something's off. So that's like, I've been following that. And I'm yeah. like, it's amazing how people didn't see the writing on the wall. But I've, but if you're big into pop culture like I was, like we talked about paparazzi and mm-hmm. like all that early aughts, like Paris Hilton is like another one of my big idols. Right. And I remember watching Paris Hilton back in the day and I'm like, she's like acting, like she's almost like a personified version of herself, mm-hmm. almost like a drag queen, like a drag persona mm-hmm. because she's using it to cope from something. Right. And like, I remember seeing that and like trying to say that and no one would get it. And then it comes out with, I just read her memoir and like saw her documentary. And it's like, you look at all the, like, she was at one I of those like troubled teen schools, which then I feel guilty about. Her parents, like. Kathy Hilton. I'm like, like big what? Kath. I'm like, that's so Got taken up. in the middle of the night. Yes. That like documentary. Kidnapped. I talked about that documentary. Mm-hmm. And, like, I know when I really like something. Yeah. I'm like, I will like something, but mm-hmm. something hit like my heart. Yeah. With that one. Just what she has insomnia mm-hmm. and. She couldn't sleep. And I'm like, you have like, and I'm someone that has PTSD. And I'm like, yeah, I know, same. like, I was watching it where she couldn't, she was like in Japan or China. And like, mm-hmm. she's like, I got to be up in two hours, but like, I can't turn my phone off and I don't want to sleep. And I'm like, I know what that's like. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm, I'm happy that she's showing that. But at the same time, I'm like, this is dark. Yeah. And then you look back at her whole, th- like when she got, you know, her DUI arrest and was put in jail and you look through it all that lens and you're like, this poor girl and you watch some of the paparazzi videos mm-hmm. and how harassed she was with Britney and then there's Lindsay yes. who like she's completely I mean she's in Dubai where they don't have paparazzi and she can live her life yes. and I'm like good like mm-hmm. she's been she was in that group and it's like I'm yeah. happy that we're like examining that and like with reality television there's something about watching this stuff mm-hmm. like watching society of your like this yourself on television Yes, and I feel like mm-hmm. we're starting to like rectify all that stuff right Absolutely. So, yeah. who the hell's calling me? Oh, of course, my dad's calling me. I'm like, go away. <laughs> All good. So, wrapping up, okay. I forgot to ask you in the beginning what is your coffee order? When you go to like Conquer Point Coffee mm-hmm. or Dunkin' or Starbucks mm-hmm. or Coffee Coffee? Um, it's usually matcha. Mm hmm. Oh, and, and at Concord Coffee, I get Mexican hot chocolate with oat milk and whipped cream. Mm-hmm. And then when I just don't know what I want, I just do a caramel macchiata with okay. oat milk. Okay. <laughs> you say that with a Maryland accent, too. Oh. <laughs> you said macchiata. I was like, ooh. <laughs> I do say you have a Maryland accent. Everybody says that. Did you get it a lot when you were in Vegas? Yeah, no, I would get Canadian. Okay. I got New yeah. Jersey a lot. And something... People were like, are you from like up north, north, like New York or something mm-hmm. like that? But, but they like, never could guess Maryland. Oh, never. But then you say watch mm-hmm. a John Waters movie and they're like, oh, you have the same out- the accent. I'm like, right. duh. <laughs> or but they would always say like, are you Jersey? And I'm like, no. no. I'm like, what, 30 minutes from Jersey? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but have you heard a Jersey accent? Yeah. I'm like, it's all good. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm beating back up to my UFO. Thanks for coming on. Thank you for fun. asking me. That yeah. was great. I'm excited. You were one of the people who I like. 
I like have a list of people and like, you were the ones I was like, she's fascinating. I was like, <laughs> we're going to have a good conversation. Yes, we did. So, yeah, because some people like they want to come on and I'm like, they're not, they're not like not what I want. And mm-hmm. it's like, I could tell it would be like a struggle to have a conversation with Yeah, where like, I normally can spot it right away. Like I'm like, yes, we're having her on. So thanks yeah. for coming on. Thank you. So, and come to slam show poetry. It's yes. fun. Please All right. Come. Peace out. Bye. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.